race 20 is the Southern Grand National Female 2 Heavy Ground. Iri Elliott, David Ladd, Hot Springs of Winds, Billy Jerry, Gredge Belt, Jamie Shea, Sean Berry, Mulan, Alex Cherry, Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper, Shot to the Art, Joshua Sutherland, Corbin's Road, Pontypool Racing, Balladeer and Noor, David Ladd, Cabradora, Martin Leiden, Movie Queen, and David Dooley. Ten runners. And the starters orders and um, they were running on Corbin's Roar broke well along with Shamberry Mulan. They jumped the first fence and they've all jumped it safely on the outside. Now Philly Eagles come through to press Corbin's Roar for the lead. Then right behind these comes the movie Queen. Shot to the arts in behind these. So these are Bon Jovi's song shot to the arts. Uh, terrible group. Sorry, if you are a Bon Jovi fan, uh, Josh, and um, just, um, I think Bon Jovi, I think it's Bon Jovi, shot to the art. It's a girly ear band to me. Martin would agree with me with it. <laughs> Caradora leads from Coburn's Row on the far side. They Philly Eagle and shot to the art. Shamberry Moon on, and then Balladeer Ivor, they jump to the next fence. Who on real metal? And we lost Caradora there. Sorry, Martin. Missing falling. You want real metal going into the black south more red, deep purple, something decent, you know. Phil Hegel leads by a length from shot to the art in second. On the inside is Corbin's Wall. That's because he may not be named after that song by Bon Jovi. I'm just surmising he might be. And down the woods next Phil Hegel by two lengths from Shot to the Art in second and then Shamberry Moulin. A mistake there by Davies Lads uh, Balladeer Ivor he dropped back to the rear. Just behind the Grudge Belt and Hot Springs of Woods. Movie Queen has but four flowers and just in front of them was Corbin's Roar. So just one for at the moment in this Southern National, Cara Dora had just in the rider early on. So, not going to be a double today for Martin at leading the trainer at Fontwell. Only running the race is gone. And Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper's runner, leads by two or three from Shot to Grant. Again, this is uh, not the 120 race. So Josh has got a lowly weighted chaser in here. I wonder if it's the one that won the Hunter's Chase the other day. And we lost Coburn's Row at the back. So not much of a reward these days, Corbin's Rock. It's been such a disappointing chaser. He looked good in trials two seasons ago, but he's not one of his. He's a maiden. I just chucked him in because he was lowly rated and it hasn't paid off for me. I'm jumping the next. And Philly's Eagle is a couple of clear now from Area Elliot and shot to the art. Brandy Shamberry Moulin. Improving from the rear balladeer, either after mistake, he's made a bit of progress. They got just over one mile, six films left to run. They've jumped seven of the 16, and they're heading towards the eighth. And Phil Hegel is about two lengths clear from area out in second. The first of the day, we Romson pair and shot to the art, and then improving still balladeer and Iver. And then Hot Springs wins and Chamberry Moulin. Grange Belt and Movie Queen, we lost uh, Phil Eagle. And we also lost Shambury Mulan there. So the field's been cut up now. We lost four now. We don't have just six runners. And David Ladd has two runners in the race. He must fancy his chances now. Area Herod leads by a length of Hot Springs. Windsor's made some good progress through the field. On the outside of Balladeer Iver. Hot shot to the art. Grudge Belt and Movie Queen now the back marker. You have to make sure these um, running the horses so the jockeys don't get in the way. Loose horses, they jump to that one and they all jump that one safely. They're swinging left handed soon and going on the far side for the final time. They're coming past the squig screen and the area Heliot leads by a length from in second place. All springs wings who's swinging on the bridle in second, then comes the shot to the art on the inside. A length and a half back to Balladia Higher. Movie Queen is in fifth, and now the battle marker is Gred's Belt for James Shea. He's swinging down the far side for the final time, just over a mile and a bit to run. And shot to the arts, got to the front on the inside. 
of an area earlier in second. Behind his in third is up with up wing spring and still going well. On the inside, Movie Queen picking up a bit of ground on the inside of Balladio Iba. And then there's just a length that back to question about six runners, but they're still going for a chance of passing the six six row mark in a minute and the leader is shot to the art he's gone three to four limbs clear here in the seven national they jump this one at the six mark and he jumps it two limbs clear movie queen is now moving closer to him in second i'm probably going to challenge him as they go towards the far side and as they do see movie queen's come right through and has started a kick from home has gone left now clear no shot to the arts come under pressure in second hot springs wins is confident back in third but sees the rings the jockey don't sat the nudge along now they're swinging in they got four left to jump four left to run three left to jump and movie springs three five lengths clear now from shot to the art in second behind his hot swings wins and then balladier hyper here we have a belt is has bailed off as he goes towards the second last movie queen about five lengths clear from shot to the art in second back in for balladeira iris hot springs Wins has not picked up down towards this final two fences and over that one and Ruby Queen's moving well five lengths clear shot to the art is trying hard to close in second as is Balladier and Iba head towards the final fence in the seven national Movie Queen, four, five lengths clear, shot to the art in second, comes the last, he jumps it well in front, in second place, shot to the art, Balladier, Iber, and then Neri Elliott, then comes that, that swings, and goes back up towards I know, Dave Hidoli, and Movie Queen's going to take the seven national, four limbs clear, shot to the art in second, Balladier, Iber, third, with stable mate, Area Elliott, Hot Springs, Woods, Winds, and the final one to finish the James Shea trained grudge belt. Good win for David Ooley. That's a big outside of 66 to 1 bottom weight as well. Beats shot to the R in second. Back in third, the ball of the R of David Lad. Austria Galway. We're going to hand over to Martin, who's at Ferriers.